Ho delle, delle lettere che mi ha dato mia moglie e oggi apro la diciassettesima. Basta, ho ceduto, non posso più stare senza di te. Dai papi, scherzo, rallegra il tuo viso spensieroso. Ti stiamo aspettando, con immenso amore, la tua famiglia. And then we took a boat, uh, and I remember we took off early in the morning, and we arrived at this beautiful place where people were sitting at the terrace outside, and I came into this uh, building which, uh, at that time, and maybe part of it still, looked like something from the 1970s, uh, and it has a charming atmosphere. One of the things that also characterizes uh, Arctic research stations is that uh, it's a sign of uh, friendship. Because we meet each other, because we are so much together in the field, and that means both people from, you could say, China, Russia, uh, Europe, all different parts of the world uh, come to different research stations and also to this research station, and then they start cooperate, and the borders, they kind of disappear. Uh, mamma, mamma. Yeah, yeah, mamma. Okay. Your mother? Yeah. My, my mother, okay? Mm -hmm. Mamma. Allora, M. Ma. Ma. Yeah. Stu. Yeah. Ah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mamma. Mamma. Butterfly. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Farfalla. Mm. Cosa ci sono arrivati? R. 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 My name? William, William Randaccio. R. 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 No, no. Sì, sì, ce la faccio, ce la faccio, ce la faccio. R. Ok, per oggi, today, stop. Thank you, teacher. Uh, people really feel far away from home, even with Skype. It's not the same as being together with your friends, so you have a, a very strong feeling of remoteness when you are on a research station, and I think that brings people together. Ginger. Ginger is very important for Chinese and also is very nice, especially during the winter and somewhere cold. When I study in the university, I live by myself. Every single time when I miss home, I just cook by myself. Usually I uh, help my wife to cook. Yeah, yeah, you got married, you lucky you. I'm arrived here at 42 years old and I'm here at 43 years old. So the time here is Yeah, I was here first time in 1987. Then I came back uh, to do the field work for my master's thesis in uh, 1991. And I remember the scientific leader of the station, Ole Frimer, he invited us for dinner the first night we were here, and I was talking about this dream of uh, being the scientific leader of the uh, Arctic Station. The next day, we went out to a very remote site, uh, far away from here, to stay in the field for uh, three weeks and to do the field work. And we were completely alone, my ex-wife and I, for 14 days. The first thing of uh, human nature we saw was uh, a ship. And uh, the scientific leader and his wife came into uh, the beach and they had uh, brought a cake. And uh, they told me that the recipe of this cake, it was magic. And then the person he gave it to would be the next uh, scientific leader. Questi giorni sono lontano dalla mia famiglia, quindi capite bene che non è facile, no? Perché se uno è lontano dalla propria famiglia, sicuramente non aiuta. Però posso dire che ne ho trovato un'altra qua, eh. Quindi... Oh! And uh, in 1993 we went up here and uh, 
stayed here for three years and my son is born in uh, in this town so uh, we came with one child and we went home with uh, with two childs and a lot of adventure 